Staten Island, New York, and today I'm going to read all the paragraphs from the Shema. There's three paragraphs, so, and uh, I'm going to say it in English today. Shema, you're supposed to cover your eyes on the first par- the first line, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is God, the Lord is one. And the next line, you say quietly, blessed be the name of the the glory of his kingdom forever and ever. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and resources. Let these matters that I command you today be upon your heart. Teach them thoroughly to your children. Speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk in the house, when you walk on the road, when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign upon your, home, your hand, and they shall be for a reminder between your eyes. At that time, you are kissing the uh, tefillin, the arm tefillin, and the head tefillin. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates. And it will be, if you will diligently obey my commandments, which I enjoin you, upon you to this day to love the Lord your God and to serve him. Oops. Oops. I flipped the pages by accident. To serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, I will give rain for your land at the proper time, the early rain and the late rain, and you, you will gather in your grain your wine and your oil, and I will give grass in your fields for your cattle, and you will eat and be saved to take care, lest your heart be lured away, and you turn astray and worship alien gods and bow down to them. But then the Lord's wrath will flare up against you, and he will close the heavens so that there will be no rain, and the earth will not yield its produce, and you will, will swiftly perish from the good land which the Lord gives you. Therefore, place these words of mine upon your heart and upon your soul, and bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be a reminder between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, speak of them when you sit in your house and when you walk on the road, when you lie down and when you rise. And you shall inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, so that the days, that your days and the days of your children may be prolonged on the land which the Lord swore to your fathers to give them for as long as the heavens are above the earth. Now, for the next paragraph, you hold the tallest strings all four corners like this, and you kiss them at the word of fringes, or in Hebrew, it's tzitzitz. The Lord spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them to make for them fringes, or tzitzit, on the corner of their garments. Throughout the generations, and attach a thread of blue on the tzitzit, or fringe, of each corner. <clears throat> they shall be to you as tzitzit, and you shall look upon them and remember all the commandments of the Lord and fulfill them, and you will not follow after your heart, after your eyes, by which you go astray, so that you remember you may remember and fulfill all my commandments to be holy to your God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. Now you kiss it a true, and then you say the next paragraph. So I'm just going to pause at the moment. <sighs> ah. Oh, it's not paused. Anyway, we say this three times a day, morning morning prayers. Uh, I believe it's the evening prayers and the uh, afternoon prayers. Uh, so that's it. That's it for now. Signing out, Alan from Staten Island, New York.